Genesis chapter 4. In this chapter, we will learn about the family of Adam and Eve. And I'm going to read verses 1 through 8. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, and said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Then she bore again, this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you, but you shall rule over it. Now Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. So Cain was a farmer and Abel a shepherd. They both prepared a sacrificial offering to God. Cain sacrificed some of his produce, and Abel sacrificed the firstborn sheep. God was not pleased with Cain's offering. Cain became jealous and angry and killed Abel. So that would be the first recorded murder in the, in the Bible. And Cain killed Abel. Verses 9 through 15. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. A fugitive and a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. And Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Surely you have driven me out this day from the face of the ground. I shall be hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. And it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. God asked Cain, Where, where has your brother gone? And Cain replied, Am I my brother's keeper? How many times have we heard that saying? Well, that, I believe that's the first time it was spoken. God knew what happened and placed a curse on Cain. The curse was that he would no longer be able to grow anything as a farmer. He instead became a fugitive and afraid that he would be killed for being a murderer, but God placed a mark of protection on him. Now I'm going to read verses 16 through 26. Then Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begot Mehuchahel, and Mehuchahel begot Methuselah, Methushael, and Methushael begot Lamech. Then Lamech took for himself two wives. The name of one was Ada, and the name of the second was Zillah. And Ada bore Jabel. He was the father of those who dwell in the tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of those who play the harp and flute. And as for Zillah, she also bore Tubal, Cain, an instructor of every craftsman in bronze and iron. And the sister of Tubal, Cain, was Naamah. Then Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice. Wives of Lamech, listen to my speech. For I have killed a man for wounding me, even a young man for hurting me. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and named him Seth. For God has appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, whom Cain killed. And as for Seth, to him also a son was born, and he named him Enosh. Then men began to call on the name of the Lord. These verses give the genealogy of the family of Adam and Eve. Cain settled in the land of Nod and had a son named Enoch. And Cain's great-great-grandson is Lamech. He married two wives and also killed a man. Lamech had three sons, Jabal, who worked with livestock, Jubal, who played the lyre and pipe, and Tubal Cain, who was a forger of bronze and iron. 
Adam and Eve had another son named Seth, and people around this time began to call upon the name of the Lord. Sin then is the same as sins we all struggle with today. Disobedience, jealousy, anger, etc. The Bible helps us understand that the human heart has always struggled with disobedience since the beginning. The Bible also gives us a solution to our sin problem through Jesus Christ, who was a descendant of Adam and Eve's son, Seth. It's interesting to see in the beginning of the scriptures how things start to enter into uh, the word, the genealogies, the different people that are coming into existence, and now the trades that are coming in, and, and that the Bible gives account to the things that uh, were also done, uh, such as uh, Cain, who murdered his brother, and then he had a great-great-grandson who also murdered somebody. So, you know, it, it gives into account not just what's going on, but, uh, you know, problems that were arising. And uh, that gives us a better understanding of uh, the human heart uh, as it was then and as it is today. I'm studying the, the Bible the same way that, I'm, uh, that I studied it when I taught my children. And I wanted to do these videos because I cannot be with my grandchildren uh, every day like I was with my kids. Some of my grandkids are uh, saved now and are interested in learning the scriptures. So this was the easiest way for me to do it. And I thought I would just share it with others who would be interested as well.